guys it's oaks welcome to the channel and thank you for watching the gram pora derby <laughs> yeah we're gonna play against brighton this saturday and that also is known as the gram pora derby gram pora just left brighton to join chelsea football club he brought five staff member and then Kukurea signed for Chelsea Football Club. And then Todd Bowley went back again to get Paul Winstanley and also Kyle McCauley from the recruitment department. So, almost 10 people. <laughs> we completely destroyed Brighton this time around. So, it's going to be some kind of revenge, you know. And uh, also, it's going to be... Uh, some kind of uh, audition for many players that been linked to Chelsea Football Club. Leandro Trossard, you know, Moises Caicedo, even Webster and other players that been linked with Chelsea. Even if they are not linked with Chelsea, they're going to try to show what they can do in order to, to have a chance one day of signing for the Almighty Blues. So this game could be Probably <laughs> the toughest game under Graham Porter because they know him inside out. He knows them inside out. So we know each other very well. So this game, my friend, get ready. Okay, get ready because it's going to be some sensational football here. And um, Brighton are the, set, the only team that got more possession against Manchester City. <laughs> Not only this year, it's been for, you know, the past couple of years that they always got the ball more than Manchester City. But that is not important at the end because they, most of the time, they end up by losing anyways. But I wanted just to tell you that this team with the Zerbi, you know, the new manager, they haven't won any game of football so far. So they're going to try to win against Chelsea. Okay, so I'm going to my lineup formation and all that very quickly. I'm going to keep Kepa Arisa Balaga in goal. I was tempted to put uh, Mendy because he need to play somehow. You know, one day we have to give him a little bit of chance. Only few few games left until the World Cup. So, but Kepa, just because he made a lot of mistakes the other day, I wanted to give him more confidence by playing him against Brighton. Back four, I will go with Chile. I will go with Koulibaly, but I'm not sure. By the time I'm recording, I don't know if Koulibaly is already fit. But I don't want to play Thiago Silva. That's why I put this question mark here because it's better to keep him safe than lose him for a month. And he might lose uh, or he might miss the World Cup if he's gotten injured. Remember... Uh, the last game against Salzburg, he, he had a very bad fall and everybody was afraid, but he was okay until the end. I think we need to give him a rest, but we are like one defender away from a big crisis in that defense. Fofana not there, Rhys James not there, um, Koulibaly struggling, and we have also somebody that we can pro that we have to protect Thiago Silva 38 years old Chaloba need to be there because when he's there we don't lose fingers crossed we don't um <laughs> we don't break that record on Saturday against Brighton in the midfield I will go with uh, Kovacic who was very very good the last game and I will go with uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek Three men behind the main striker is going to be Christian Pulisic and um, Gallagher and also Manson Mount. In front, I will go with uh, Broja. But the way I see it, Todd, uh, Todd Bowley, <laughs> Graham Porter is going to go with experience here. Okay, He doesn't want to lose against his former club. I think Aubameyang is going to be there. Sterling is going to be there. Polisic probably out. 
that is the reward that he always got at Chelsea Football Club after every wonderful goal, uh, goal or assist or a great game, he always get punished. It's gonna be benched. So um, I think it's gonna be there. Thiago Silva might be forced to be to be there um, because. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And Jorginho Frelo, how can you even mention Ruben when <laughs> when Jorginho Frelo is there? So that was my lineup, but also what I think the manager is going to do because it looks like certain players are untouchable. Anyways, people, let me just jump very quickly here to check on some statistics. So as you can tell, it's going to be on Saturday. If you are in the U.S., it's going to be 10 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Time. But if you are from the Pacific Time, the Los Angeles era, area, I think it's going to be very early, probably 6 o'clock or something like that. Or even, yeah, in the morning. So put your alarm and find out your location. Let's see what is going to happen. If we go to statistics here, in the last few games, you can see 1-1, one, 1-1, one, 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 zero, zero. Chelsea won away, 3-1, uh, and 1-1. One, one. So most of the time, been draws, a lot of draws, and one win, which was Chelsea winning away in 2020 uh, Amex Stadium. It was in September. That was long time ago. We don't beat them because they are so good. So hopefully we can beat them this time around. And uh, yeah, the last time at the bridge, it was heartbreaking. That header, I think it was from from Webster. Adam Webster was the man of the match, as you can tell her here. Graham Porter was, um, was their manager. He's our manager now. Kepa Arisa Balaga is always can't command the freaking box, can't can't punch the ball convincingly. That is the biggest weakness of Mr. Kepa Arisa Balaga, man. He is very, very scared when he's in that box. He got bullied all the time. 99.99% of the time, he can't catch the ball. He can't punch the ball properly. It's awful, so we have to protect him and try to um, try to, to win this game. <laughs> Danny Welbeck. The problem here is that every time we play the so-called smaller teams, they perform to the next level. Prime Barcelona under Guardiola or something. Oh, man. At the bridge the last time we played them, we know what happened. So... And we had Kante. We had all our big guns, but at the end, we ended up by drawing the last minute. Tariq Lamptey might be there, our own brother, true and true, Academy product. And we're going to have also um, Billy Gilmo. Billy Esther is not really playing. He's not having enough uh, playing time now because we have Caicedo in the midfield and also the other guy, I forgot his name. So, um, man, it, it's going to be a tough, tough, tough game. Probably the hardest game for uh, Graham Porter, but that's what people have been saying. Oh, Milan is going to be the toughest game. Boom, we beat them twice. Oh, Salzburg, the biggest game. Boom, we beat them. So we are beating people for fun. We are drawing every time we draw. People want to kill uh, Graham Porter. So just imagine... The first defeat is going to be a tsunami in the Chelsea community because we we need a, a manager that will win every single game and will win every single trophy. That is uh, what uh, Graham Porter needs to deal with in the Chelsea community. Online, of course, but for people really who understand football, they know we're going to lose games. They know he needs time to walk. They know that we are in a good way and uh, we are improving. So, people, my score prediction is going to be 3-2 to Chelsea Football Club. Yeah, it's going to be a high-scoring uh, game. 
and I think they they don't sit back. They always attack, attack, attack. They're gonna score first, and they're gonna test our, you know, our mentality. We're gonna show some character. We come back one-one. They score the second goal. We equalize, and then we score the third goal in the last minute. Christian Pulisic to score. I think <laughs> Christian Pulisic to score if he plays, of course. Mason Mount to score and Armando Broja to score. Leave your comment and let's keep the conversation going. <laughs>